In example one, we're looking at a standard deck of cards. This means we have 52 cards, we have 13 hearts, 13 diamonds. Let's see if I can draw this. Hey, that's not bad. 13 <laughs> clubs and 13 spades. Your hearts and diamonds are your red cards and your clubs and spades are your black cards. All right, so first thing we wanna figure out is the probability of drawing a heart. In general, and you might wanna go up and write this, probability is the set of desired outcomes, so the number of desired outcomes over the number of total outcomes. This is the big idea. It's the number of desired ver over the number of total. Going back down to this example, we want to know the probability of drawing a heart. Well, we have 13 hearts in our deck, so the probability of a heart is going to be 13 over a total of 52 cards, or 1 fourth or 0 0.25. 0 .25. Thus, if we were to continually draw cards, if we drew a card and then put it back, drew another card and put it back, drew another card and put it back, and continue to do this for a very, very long time, about a quarter of the time we're going to draw a heart. Okay, the probability of drawing a three. There are four threes in a deck, because we have a three of hearts, three of diamonds, three of spades, and three of clubs, which means the probability of a three is three over 52 or 1 13th. The probability of not drawing a 3 is going to be the complement to drawing a 3. You can either realize that this is an entire deck minus the number of 3's in the deck, or you can just do that math in your head and realize we have 48 cards in our deck that are not 3's, which reduces to 12 13ths. Right, the probability of drawing a three or a heart. Well, we know that the probability of a three or a heart is going to be the probability of a three plus the probability of a heart minus the probability of a three and a heart. What this means, and I'll add the numbers in, in a moment, but I want to make sure you understand the concept of this. In our deck of cards, we have four threes. We have 13 hearts. But of this entire thing, there's one card that is a three of hearts. So we can't just add these numbers together because that three of hearts gets counted twice. It gets counted with the threes and it gets counted with the hearts. So what we do is we add the four threes together. We say we have four threes plus 13 hearts minus that one card that is a three and a heart. That way, we recognize that we only have 1652, so 1650 seconds, which can reduce. Get 826, which gives us 4 thirteenths. It's really important that you remember to subtract out that overlap. So if I were to actually write this out, so I know my three heart, my threes are the three of hearts, the three of diamonds, the three of clubs, and the three of spades. And then I know I have my 13 heart cards. I have the ace of hearts, the two of hearts, the three of hearts the four of hearts, and so on, all the way up to the jack of hearts, the queen of hearts, and the king of hearts. But if I were to just add all these cards together, you're counting the three of hearts twice. That's why we need to subtract out that one card. And that leaves us with the four thirteenths. All right, just two more parts left on this question.